praise God. Hallelujah. Oh, bless God so much for the gifts of another day. Father, we thank you so much for your love, your mercy, your faithfulness. Thank you, O oh God, for today too we pray, Spirit of God, that you speak to us through your word so we'll understand you better. In Jesus' mighty name we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Brethren in the Lord, I welcome you once again to the program. How do you understand the word of God? We'll take our devotional reading from Isaiah chapter 35, the verses 8 to 10. Isaiah 35, 8 to 10. Let's hear the word of God. A highway shall be there, and a road, and it shall be called the highway of holiness. The unclean shall not pass over it. But it shall be for others, whoever walks the road, although a fool shall not go astray. No lion shall be there, nor shall any ravenous beast go upon it. It shall not be found there. Hallelujah. We praise God for his faithfulness. The Lord is telling us about how he is preparing. He's paving a way for his righteous people. Today we have a world that is full of pleasures. And uh, the Bible tells us that we have two ways. The big way is where people choose to walk or to live their lives because it is easy to go through that way. But the narrow way, because it is so narrow and it's difficult to go through, many do not choose that. Few choose that road. And God is telling us that after we've gone through that narrow road or after we've gone through struggles, there's going to be a way, a highway for his righteous people. That highway will be called the highway of holiness. Hallelujah. After we have accepted him and we've sought him with all our hearts, he says that that way will be so holy that the unclean can never go that way. Although when we walk through the narrow way, people think that we are wasting our time and that we do not get any joy or we do not even enjoy. But the Lord is telling us that that is the best way that we can go or we can walk on. And he's talking about the new world that is coming, like the new place that will be with him. Yes, where will the Lord be? He will be in heaven and it says that when it is time for him to dwell with his people there will be this earth will be no more and this heaven that we see will be no more he is bringing down or he is giving us a new heaven and he's given us a new earth and the bible is saying that in that city we will not see the things we see here today we will see what the, the, the faithfulness and the joy that we find in the Lord. There we'll meet the Lord face to face. No lion shall be there, nor shall any wild beast go upon it. Hallelujah. Brethren in the Lord, which we cannot compare what we are going through on this earth to the wonderful things Jesus has prepared for us. He has paved this way. So that his righteous will walk on it. We know, we've heard, even from our childhood, that we are going to walk on streets of gold. And I do not doubt that. Because even in the earth, down, down in the earth, God has hidden gold, silver, and so many other things. They have become precious things. We have precious stones. We have even pearls hidden in sea, sea foods, fish and all that, seafoods and all that. 
So God has so many precious things on this earth, but what we are going to enjoy is not perishable. It is not like what we find here on this earth. God has prepared special things for us. He that is why he says that we should lay our treasures in heaven. For where our treasure is, there our heart is. So when we cling unto the Lord, although things may be difficult, but the Lord surely leads us through. Thank you, Jesus, for all that 